Good morning, YouTube, uh, fellow followers and supporters of the channel. I'm uh, regrinding some uh, 318 valves. These are brand new valves, but we true them up to make sure that the angles are true. And uh, we're going to grind these. And uh, I've already got uh, six of them done, but I'm going to grind these last two exhausts and see if we can capture this on film. Thanks for watching. Okay, we've got them re, that re -grime. One more and then we'll do some intakes. That one sounded pretty good. A little bit of run out, but you never know. Uh, some of them are worse than others. We just clean it up till it uh, till it's round and it's true. Okay, all of our exhausts are done. We'll grab an intake. Hey, when that happens. Sounds pretty good. And you notice that I'm uh, I'm using this uh, valve grinding oil. We're flooding this all the time. Keep the valve cool. Keeps the wheel cool. Try not to overheat anything. It's constantly lubricated. We're cleaning with clean uh, grinding oil. Really nice. Uh, surface finish is nice. Come in on a wheel head slow. Advance the wheel head into the workpiece. We go slowly in case we have to recenter the valve. Now let's try to recenter that. See if sometimes you can uh, unchuck that, recenter it. It'll center up a little better. Just depends. Sometimes it makes no difference.
Some guys just chuck them and grind them right where they're at. But if you have just a little micro dirt, I mean, if you just have something in there, uh, a few tenths diameter it can make it run out, but that's pretty good right there. To round this valve up, brand new out of the box, this, this picker valve taking uh, about one thousandths. So one to three is about normal. Uh, sometimes you have to hardly take anything. I'm going to do another one, see how it goes. Come in slowly. That one came right in. That's going to maybe take like a half thousand. Just going to true it up, make sure all of our angles are consistently. Uh, across the face there's no deviation I'll do another one I know this might be boring for some of you some of you already know about this some of you may or may not see this You notice I'm constantly traversing the face of the wheel. Some guys plunge grind, I do not. This is the way I was taught. There you go. We're coming in. This one take about about one thousandths. You can hear it sparking out when it just has barely any contact. You want to let it spark out, make sure it's nice and round. Don't get in a hurry. Just takes a few more seconds to get it right. I never let that valve stop on the wheel. I'm constantly moving. I never stop. And when it sparks out and it cleans up, I'm constantly traversing. I never leave the wheel face. I'm always engaged with the rock. Back it off. Let's go ahead and grind all these. You can kind of see, get an idea. I'm not trying to set any records here on time. I'm doing I'm doing this exactly how I do it on every job. Only time that one will need to be recentered. Let's just see if we can get a little bit better. I go to show you there there's See, there's a valve. I've had about four of them in there. This is one of the worst intakes so far. This is out of the same box, same batch, same part number. And sometimes you can just get it full stop right there. Reset my dial to zero. A lot of people never watch their dial. I do. I'll show you the dial when we get here in a minute. My dial's all cleaned off. A lot of guys' dials, you can't even see the dial face. It's so uh, corroded with uh, grinding swore. That valve there, it, I would have thought would have been bad, but it was uh, cleaned up in about two thousandths. cleaned up just like the others. Hope you can see that. 
two more to go to show you something on the end of this valve I'm using a sous grinder and on the end of this valve I've rebut ground the stem I touch it off sometimes those stems are not true they're not 90 degrees or or perpendicular to the stem I retrue that it sets in a B block it's very precise and then on that chamfer on the outside like on these intakes they're like cut with a laser or something they're they're like burned off as you can see that's got a like about a 45 degree chamfer on a sous grinder uh, it's very important a lot of guys throw the little fixture away to grind that I'll show you what it looks like but it's very important that you grind it so that chamfer is on there and it is concentric with the valve stem because when this uh, valve goes back in the chuck it goes in a large cone and it perfectly centers the uh, valve in the back of the cone and it's got three rollers in the chuck jaws that center the front and that's how it has its accuracy some machines don't use that they use a collet so they don't depend on that and they and they're very accurate as well if they're in good shape this one took about a thousand One more to go, and we're done. Always want to go slow, make sure you don't crash the valve into the rock. When I'm ready, just. This one took just right under a thousandth. You can hear it, it just barely, barely touching. It touch all the way around, it's concentric, not out around. Very nice. So we had uh, we had three intakes that I think really needed it. The others would have probably been fine. And I had about half the exhausts that were that I think we we improved them. Okay, you can see I've ground a chamfer on all them. Now the exhausts on these, they had a chamfer, this exhaust valve. And uh, the intakes weren't machined, the exhausts were, but I ended up retouching the exhaust as well, just to make sure it was concentric. Thanks for watching. Okay, thought I would, uh, Come around here, show you my dial. You can see zero there. You can still read all the marks. Everything's uh, clean. You can see it all. And this fixture, this is the one I was telling you guys about, about grinding the stem. A lot of guys don't never knew what this was and they take this and eventually they throw it away they just think it's a piece of scrap metal but as you can see here that lays in there in those v-blocks and that's how you grind that chamfer on the end of that valve works very good it's something you do by hand but it's accurate now some shops they'll take the end of the the chamfer and they'll grind it to a uh on a bench grinder so I never do that, of course, you know, that's not precise, uh, but there is a little tool for that. And then this tool gets removed. That's kind of what it looks like. It locates in a V block and then them valves go in a V block. Kind of hard to do this one hand. 
And then that's how they get butt ground. Okay, I just wanted to show you what that looked like. There's all of our exhaust valves, all reground, all rantake, really sanitary, very nice. Okay, we've come in and we've already pre cut these. You remember in a previous video with a Goodson 3D seat cutter. We come in and touched our seat, and I thought I had I was filming and I wasn't, so I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna put some bluing on there. These I love these blue sharpies, they're great around the shop. You can lay porch out with them, they work like Dicum, they've got a nice wide surface on them, they're great, they work like Dicum. Okay, let's uh, touch this and let's see what kind of contact area we have. I have a bounce spring in there, and I've got a bushing, so as you can see there, uh, that holds me up off the seat. We've got a ball bearing stone holder. It's not worn out. It, it's uh, not like the old bushing styles. Okay. So as you can see there, no trickery, no camera trickery. We've got a seat. We have a, you can see where we didn't grind. We've got a top cut, a bottom cut. Try to get back there. I'm gonna just lightly touch that top. I'm just gonna kiss it. Take this out. Don't need quite so much. That's just a. Uh, that's uh, that's a. Um, I don't know what I've got on this one between 32 and 35 top cut, and uh, so let's uh, get in here. You can see I've got my caliper set on 60 thousandths. Let's see if we can do this here. You can see I'm right, right across, right across there. I'm sixty thousandths seat width. It's perfect. Okay, and I just wanted to show you here. I put some bluing on there and you can see all the way around I got four contacts and I've got a 60 thousandths width right there and a lot of times on performance I will run that seat up close to the diameter of the valve this particular case this is going in a truck type application actually a motorhome so I don't want to set it up on the outside of the valve for cooling purposes. But you can see, see if I can get a, there you go. Okay, this is a seat None of these have had a grinder on them. I just wanted to show you one that I haven't uh, even touched with a grinder. Just wanted to show you where we were with the cutter. This thing would have ran with the cutters. It would have been good enough. It would have just been good. But I just thought I'd check them, do a video, show you all. And uh, let's grind it, see what it looks like. Okay. No kind of no kind of trickery, nothing after the fact, not hiding anything. And I just barely touch that seat. You can see I've got a uh, it's about 45 and a half, just just a smidge over 45 degree angle.
Okay, I don't know if you can see this. You see that little black line? I'll try to hold this. I've just stamped that. That line has nothing on it. That is just the interference angle. That's a half a degree interference angle. And that black line is a point of tangency. If I take that line, that's the top of our line. You can see where that valve is seating perfectly. That's just taking it with my fingers, step, uh, just like so. That's all I did. Bingo. Got a line all the way around. There you go. You can see it really good. It's all the way around. No interrupted. That's the purpose of touching the seats and touching, uh, regrinding the valves. And I, and I realize we're, we're getting... Uh, probably carried away but I want to just show you how it really needs to be done thank you okay just wanted to show you here I'm gonna blue this up I'll let it kind of dry a minute I'm going to put this in here. I already did it once and I wasn't filming. Try to get that out of there. And there you go. You can see that seat all the way around there. Nice bounce on the seat. Okay, just to show you, we're back to doing our last seat. All the way around. Just like our first one, our middle one, they're all the same. Grab my caliper. There you go, 60 thousandths wide. Okay, here's another one, I just stamped it. I stamped a little harder just so you could see that line. 